Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily download and share reports of your saved grant opportunities so you can impress your boss, your board, your clients if you're a freelance grant writer. And we're going to talk about some bonus features on our PDF reports that will allow your teammates to easily deep dive into these opportunities if they want to learn more about them. To get started, we're going to get into our instrumental tracker and go to the very top right corner where it says download report. From here, you can customize your report and choose which projects you want to report on. If you're a consultant, this could be a good time to choose the projects for the client you want to create this report to. Then you can select which statuses you want to report on. For example, maybe I only want to show my finance team what's been awarded this year. And then you can choose the date range for the grant deadlines that you want to report on. If you need to, you can also select a specific date range down here and put in exactly which date range you are looking to report on. For now, let's just say we're going to do from November of 2021 to November, end of November of this year. Hidden is a field where if you wanted to, you could select to show the grants you have hidden from your projects if you wanted to show someone the work you've done to eliminate the grants that were not good fits and that you have reviewed them and determined not to pursue them. And then these are going to be the grants that you've hidden from all projects. For now, I am going to leave this off and not include any hidden grants so that it's only showing the grants I have saved. Once you've selected all your criteria, you can hit the blue create report button. And then you'll have the option to download either as a CSV Excel file or a PDF. Excels are great if you want to further manipulate the data and apply some filtering functions or add more rows and columns. And then PDFs are going to have that neat little feature. And this arrow will allow you to either show truncated notes or full notes. Truncated notes will only show the first three lines of notes. So if you have really long notes and they start to make the report really long, then you might want to show truncated notes. In the PDF report, it is going to open up a new window where it's going to represent all of the saved opportunities for the criteria you had selected exactly as it appears in your tracker. So we can see that it's reporting on the projects I had selected, the statuses, and date ranges. It's also going to include a summary of my awarded opportunities in this criteria and which ones I'm waiting to hear from, which are my submitted ops and the client. It's really easy to share this report. You could copy and paste this URL and send it as a chat, as an email. And when your colleagues open up this URL on their browser, it's going to immediately open up that instrumental report. Otherwise, you can download it as uh, a file and send it as an attachment the old school way too. When your colleagues open up your PDF report, the neat little bonus feature in our PDF reports is that any grant opportunity names that were opportunities in our instrumental database are going to turn into a active URL. You can tell by how the mouse turned into a little pointer finger. And that means that this is a opportunity that anybody can click on and it will open up a free instrumental page that has the funding opportunity details, such as the overview, eligibility, ineligibility, and if it's a private foundation, then the 990 report as well. And so even if folks don't have instrumental access or they're not on your account, then they can still click into those grant names and do the deep dive on this opportunity to give you more holistic feedback on the grants in your report. In conclusion, reports are an awesome way to stay up to date uh, with your teammates and colleagues, let them know about your progress, maybe let your finance team know what's about to come in as awards, and know that the PDF reports are going to have those active URLs where you can click into these grant names, and even if your clients or colleagues don't have instrumental access, then they can do the, the deep dive on those free instrumental pages. Go ahead and try setting up a uh, report in your account now. And when you can come back, we can move on to the next tutorial on how to do some advanced prospecting with funder matches and recipient profiles.